Good day, folks. Welcome to another tying video at Sport Fishing on the Fly. Today I'm going to tie the Encore. The Encore is a scud attractor I've been using up in the interior of BC. It's fall here and it's full on scud season, my favorite time of year. Um, I actually hooked my largest trout of my recent trip up to Kamloops on this fly, so I wanted to share it with you. Make sure you have these materials ready before you tie the fly. For a hook, I'm using a partridge check nymph hook size 12. They're barbless. For thread, I'm using Semperfly 18 knot black nano silk. For the tail, I'm using Semperfly uh, Crystal Flash in pearl. For the body, I'm using Dirty Bug yarn in green olive. And for the hackle, I'm using Whiting Brahma Hen in olive. So I'm just going to go ahead and apply some cobbler's wax to my thread. I'm using nano silk, it's slippery. It helps to get it started on the hook because the hook is also slippery. So I'm just holding my thread towards me, going over top and then wrapping over it. Holding my thread in my hand at an angle really helps to um, eliminate spaces between the wraps. I find your flies last a lot longer if you put down a good base that's what the materials are going to stick to is the thread otherwise they just slide around on the hook uh, next I'm going to take my crystal flash and I'm just going to take about three pieces three or four Just cut those even. And I'm just going to wrap over top of them, right on top of the hook there. When I originally designed uh, this fly, it was meant to be a caddis. So this is supposed to be the trailing shuck, and you could still fish it as a caddis. Um, I recently went fishing up in Kamloops and fished it as a scud. Oh, I missed one. And it worked great as a scud. Um, the flash actually, it appears almost blue in the water and that's a really good color to mix in with your scuds here in BC. I've actually seen like bright blue scuds before. Uh, next, I'm going to take my uh, Dirty Bug yarn. Actually, I should have stayed down at the base here. Got ahead of myself. And I'm just using one strand. Um, if I was using a size 14 or 16, I would take one of these strands and they just easily split in half so that you've got a much thinner amount to work with. But this is a size 12, so I'm going to use the whole strand because I'm going to be brushing it out too. Actually, you could go, I think on a size 12, I'm going to start up at the front here and wrap over top of it. Just holds it in better too when you're brushing it out with Velcro. Go right down to the crystal flash and then back up again. And I'm just going to throw a half hitch in here. A couple of them. And for a change I'm going to use my rotary feature. So you just want to wind this up the body. And I'm going to go back over top of it again, just here in the midsection. I want it just a little thicker. So build the taper that you want. If it was a caddis, I might... Um, build it up in the back a little bit more. They're a little bit chunkier at the back. Just leave yourself enough room at the head so that you can tie in your hackle. I crowded mine a tiny bit. I can already see that. So now I'm just going to take some Velcro or you could use like a stiff brush or something. I prefer the Velcro on the Dirty Bug yarn. And just give it a little brush. I 
I was um, the retrieve uh, the line I was using we were using anything from a type 3 line depending on the depth um, up to a hover line and I also had a clear intermediate um, the most luck I personally had was with the clear intermediate um, and I was letting it sink to you know a count of whatever 20 to 40 and then ripping it back very fast with very very short um, like a very short retrieve very short pulls is what I was trying to say like just inching it back but as fast as I could um, you could also fish these under an indicator I've heard people have luck doing that I haven't personally done that very much enough to say but I've heard enough from other people that they've you know they they can fish them under an indicator no problem next I'm going to take my hackle and I've pre-chosen a hackle um, from my cape at the bottom of the cape and how I just measure is a I just take it and I put it at the front here and just see how far it's going to go back when I wrap it and this is about the right amount that I want I don't want too many legs so I'm actually going to strip off the left as a, if I'm you're looking down on the feather I'm going to take off the left side and then I'm going to take the tip and just chop it into a little I call it an anchor and once again I'm going to use my wax and then I'm just going to tie the feather in with the um, shiny side of the hackle facing me or facing up and next take your hackle pliers attach those and then make a couple of turns tie that off I like to tie it off really well before I snip that out of there, you could probably pull it right out. And then just sweep these back and build a nice little black head. I find the black head on most of the scuds I've fished important. Most of the patterns that I've ever uh, fished, I've had a black head and I've had good success with them. And I lost my whip finisher somewhere. <laughs> there it is. Just give it a couple whip finishes. You can go ahead and put uh, glue or resin on the head of your fly. I'm not going to bother. Lately I've been um, tying and fishing a lot of flies uh, that I do with nano silk with just the two uh, whip finishes and I find it holds just fine. So everyone knows I'm not a big re uh, resin fan. And that's it, the Encore. I sent buggy. I've also done this fly in, um, let's see, I've got my Velcro here. I've done it so you can see the hackle a bit better. I've done it in uh, like a mottled gray color just give it a different look um, for that I've also used whiting Brahma hen in this color and then the dirty bug yarn like the the scuds they come in all different colors um, they're anywhere from like brown I think would work to all these different shades of olive I've used you know even in uh, a couple lakes in Merritt area there's there's scuds that are white so you could use almost like a cream color yeah So to watch all of our latest Sport Fishing on the Fly episodes or to order Sport Fishing on the Fly merchandise, please head over to our website at sfotf.ca. Thanks for joining me, everyone. Take care, conserve the waters, and tight lines.